Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Okay, so you want to burn a CD to share some of your photos from iPhoto. Well, you might think that you'd go to the Share menu and choose Burn, but that really isn't the best way. That only works if you're sharing it with someone else who runs iPhoto, and even then it has some issues. What you want to do is over here in the File menu, use the Export function. But before doing that, we need to choose the photos we want to burn. So let me just pick a few here. And now I will go do the file, export. And it gives you a few options. First, there's a few tabs across the top. You want the file export option. And if it isn't already set to maximum, set the JPEG quality to maximum. And I usually leave these checked, unless there's some reason you don't want someone to know where you took a photo. And for now, we'll just leave this use file name. So the files you share will have the exact same names as the files on your computer. And say you want to export. And I'll just leave it right on the desktop. And once I click OK, it now exports the four photos. And over here in the folder, you can see there they are. OK, so now that's nice and easy. But let's say you want to save a little bit of your organization on this DVD. Well, unfortunately, iPhoto doesn't give you any way of easily retaining the event names. Um, there's no way to save those as folders with each with the photos in it or anything like that. But this is the fastest and best way that I've discovered. The first step is you create an album for each event. And the easiest way that I know to do that is to simply drag an event over to the bottom of this left side and when you let go it assumes you want to create an album with that same name. And then you can just hit enter to accept that name. And now I'll go back and do the same thing for this other event. And now I've got two albums that have the same contents as the events that I dragged there. If I want, I can go remove some of the photos here. That won't actually remove the photos from the iPhoto library, just from that album. And just so you can see, unfortunately, you can't drag more than one at a time because then it will assume that you want to create one album with the contents of both, and then it just gives you a name of untitled album. So um, I'll remove that one. Okay, so now the second part of the trick is highlight all the albums that you want to export. Once again, I'll go to File, Export. But now, instead of using file name as the file name, I'm going to say album name with number. And now look what will happen when I export that. I will put that into a new folder called album organized. OK. That's going to take a little bit longer. It's got 18 photos. Now that it's done, we'll look in there, and you'll see the file names, instead of being those boring, you know, DSCN and a number or IMG or whatever, now you'll see it got the names of my two different albums. Unfortunately, they're still in one folder, but they're really easy to see, and if you wanted, you could you know, grab all the plum tree ones and drag them off to a plum tree folder if you really wanted to. But you might as well just leave them in, one, in one, one spot. OK, so now they're nicely organized. The next step is to actually burn a CD from that, which I'll show you in another video.